Okay, red flag number 17, hissy fits. Mm -hmm. So she throws a hissy fit. So I'd imagine this is like how a toddler, you know, throws a fit when she doesn't get um, got it. ice cream flavor she wants. Um, what does it look like when a grown woman throws a hissy fit? Uh, well, she's not able to communicate the difficulties that she's feeling and you know, in her, in her heart and her mind in that, in that moment. So she'll just, she'll walk out on you. Um, she might start to become a little bit violent, throw things around, you know, sort of stuff. It usually looks like walking out and going silent. And that can be pretty dangerous because if she can't sit down and have a conversation with you about a, a disagreement, and it happens a lot, by the way, if she has a lot of hissy fits and she walks out on you, you know, the whole runner thing we talked about earlier, usually promiscuous women, women that have been with a lot of guys. Uh, that's that's one of the consequences of women that have been promiscuous is they tend to throw hissy fits if they don't get their way. And they do it because they know they have options. They do it because they know they have the attention and validation or they have had the attention and validation of guys uh, online or they are or they have a Rolodex on their phone, basically a box of dicks that they can just sort of go through. It's like, okay, let me hit this guy up next now. Uh, so hissy fits are not a good sign. My recommendation is if she can't deal with things in a productive fashion by having a nice conversation about it and she just has a complete spaz or a meltdown or it, it escalates beyond that, just, just leave her alone. You know, she's not for you. She's not for you long-term. There's other women out there. It's interesting. I had a friend who was really attracted to Latin women for, mm. the, for their, exactly for that reason. Cause it's like, spicy. I look, yeah, he says they're spicy and I've watched her go bananas and i'm like why would you want that and it seems like some guys i don't know what it is but they're attracted to this spiciness what's up with those guys Are they just i don't know man I've, yeah i don't know i've thought about that i think that um a lot of the times guys will mimic relationships that they saw in their household growing up so if their mom was <laughs> difficult and threw hissy fits they might see an attraction to women like that in their adult life they might think oh well i can fix this one like i you know what I saw my dad go through. I can I can try to fix this in my own life. That's a good point. Red flag number eighteen. Okay, this is interesting. I'm not sure I understand, but it's not being in control of the birth. What does that mean? A woman that just says, "Let's just have sex. It's okay. Don't worry about it." Right? It's like okay, this like we've seen we've seen what happens to men when women get pregnant. And what they can do with family law to extract wealth from him. Um, there's a lot of warnings that have been published to professional athletes, for example, where they'll say, look, NBA team, we're in this town. We know that you're going to do what you're going to do. Make sure that if you do have sex with anybody, you use a condom and you flush it down the toilet because women have been known to go to the bathroom after having sex with a high value athlete like that, taking the condom out of the garbage and inseminating themselves. So you need to have full control of the birth if you're going to be intimate with a woman. Uh, again, this is not the path of Elliot Hulse, but I think this is the reality of the indulgence that men have today with women. And if you're going to do that, then make sure you control what happens with birth. Um, I don't think a vasectomy is the best path for men. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not always reversible. It's kind of a odd procedure, but some, but some guys will go for it after they've got their kids out of the way. But if you're a young man, just use condoms, you know, and be sensible about it, you know, throw them in the garbage. Um, an alternative to that is if you're in a long-term relationship and you're not uh, having children anytime soon, you committed to each other, whatever, uh, a IUD is a potential, you know, solution for that temporarily for like a year or two or something, something. but you don't want to prolong the use of birth control for too long because it has uh, issues on women's health. And if you're planning on having kids with a woman, then you don't want to put her health at risk because it's obviously going to put your children's health at risk too. So in other words, take back the reins in terms of sex. Control. Yeah. Yeah. Take back control. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so I just referred to that statement uh, earlier, weaponized chastity. Like we decide where we're going to blow our loads or if we, if you even get our load. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, I can see that. Yeah, it, it's, hey man, you know, it's your seed, it's valuable, so guard it. Amen. I can see that.